Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've ever clicked on. Today we are doing my July update for my 2022 project pan, so let's just get right on into the products. So I'll get the bit of a failure update out of the way, which is that there is no update for me to talk about. There will be one by the time I film the cutaways eh, on my NARS Aldi Luminous Foundation because I totally blanked out, so I'm filming this on July 2nd um, and totally blanked out that this is what I was getting ready to film for and because this is like a like dual phase or whatever the like a biphase not like a biphase like an eye makeup remover but like one of the ones that separates and then you need to shake up um, like a fusion foundation I think they're called. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Basically I shook it up to use it and of course that completely has killed off being able to see it at the side because you need this foundation to settle to be able to mark your progress. It's quite a good foundation for project planning because because of the way that it separates and settles like you get quite a clear line to show you where you are on the foundation so um, it's got its pluses but yeah I, I just shook up this morning, used it and then was like ah I need to mark this for showing in the video so I've marked everything else um, but I've not been able to mark this one yet but I will have been able to mark it by the time that the video goes up because obviously it will settle and I'll film the cutaway and add it in. In terms of using it, I've been using it quite consistently. It hardly ever moves down. I mean, you can see that from the marks that I do have already. It just, you use so little of this foundation. I'm not convinced that NARS didn't discontinue it specifically because they realise that if people buy this foundation, they don't need to buy another foundation for about five years. It just, it moves really, really slowly, but I have been using it consistently, so... Hopefully there will be sort of equal progress as I've been making each month and hopefully I'll still finish it within the project. So six months to go, I hope we can do it. <laughs> update a really exciting update I have finished my Colourpop Frozen 2 lip gloss in the shade Free Spirit so I will show you in the cutaways and um, this is completely finished stop it out completely done had to use a lip brush to get down to the end of it because this wasn't even getting down to the end of it and that is it it's done so I'm really really pleased to have knocked that out of my collection I can add this into my July empties I'm sort of setting myself a mini challenge for July. I really want July to be a really robust month of empties because I'm a little bit behind in my sort of year to date target um, for where I should be for hitting my 300 empties for the year target that I've set myself. So I really want July to be like at least an empty a day and ideally I'm trying to use up 40 things in July. So very pleased that I will have this for my July empties. <laughs> onto my second lip gloss so obviously I was kind of concentrating on the last one to try and get that finished because I took the stopper out and think like maybe a week after I filmed the last update and then I thought no I just really want to try and get this finished for the next update so I haven't been using this one quite as much but there's still there's a lot of windowing I feel like now that the other one's out this one maybe won't be done by the next update but I feel like maybe the update after that so this will definitely be done within the project and it will be out of my collection and I'll still get it for my 2022 empties and towards that goal so very pleased with that. The only thing that might slow me down with that is that I'm about to embark on a new project pan which I will be filming the intro to right after I film this so it should be the next video up I think after this one um, which will be my 13 before Halloween and I've got lip glosses in that so fingers crossed we manage all of them but we'll see. We can only try. Another 
lot that might be slightly affected by that is my lipstick because again I have lipstick in that project pan but this is my Guerlain one that's in this project. Now my aim for this is just to use it down to the imprint and I am really really close to that now so I'm not worried, I think I'll still hit the goal on this one. I feel like I'm just sort of nearly at the imprint and I do want to be into it, I don't just want to be like hitting the top of it. I don't mind if you can still see the bottom of it at the end of the project but I do want to be like in it properly not just kind of skimming the top of it but yeah it's down so the last update I couldn't find my notebook to show you and I didn't mark my notebook for the first update so there's not as many marks for this one but I found my notebook again and I've marked it so you can see the progress there is quite a good decent jump in this actually um, which I'm very very pleased with because I have been wearing a lot of lipsticks I've been rotating through my collection I've been really enjoying doing that and um, since mask wearing has slightly relaxed in Scotland so yeah it's been nice to know that I've still made progress on this even though I have kind of opened the rest of my collection back up for like the first time in years it feels like well it doesn't feel like it's the first time in years like 2020 2021 were kind of lost years for lipsticks so yeah I'm really enjoying wearing lipstick again but really glad that I have managed to make progress on this whilst still getting use of my other stuff. <laughs> item I'm making almost too much progress on for my liking is my Chanel Lilio perfume. We are basically halfway done with this and I honestly need enough regret pushing this in the project because I just, I love this so much. I don't want to be without it. I know as soon as I finish this I'll want to repurchase it but I've got so many, foundi eh, so many foundations. I've got so many perfumes and I definitely have ones that I'm Maybe not quite as keen on. I don't have any I dislike. It's not like that. But like there's obviously ones that I really love and ones that I'm like, oh, I like it. But I've since discovered X that I like better. This is definitely like a top tier one for me at the moment. And I feel like if I finish it, I would want to repurchase it straight away. But I definitely want to try and knock out some of the ones that have sort of been replaced in my love. I would be repurchasing this until I've knocked a few others out. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost... I'm almost like quite sad about how quickly this is going but it is very much going so yeah in terms of project planning it's a success. <laughs> perfume related product that's in my project pan is my Mon Guerlain shower gel and I have I've made some progress in this it's definitely slow moving and I definitely wouldn't be buying any more perfume related body washes or shower gels because I definitely am just a little bit too precious about it. Still made progress um, and have also made progress on the corresponding body lotion that is in this as a sort of bonus product and I can't remember where I was in my last update with my 30ml perfume but I have actually finished that. I do have a hundred and a hundred mil um, of this scent, so I will be able to use that in conjunction with these when I'm using them still. Um, but yeah, the perfume has been knocked out. It was in my quarter two empties video, so if that's gone up before this does, which I think it will, um, you know, you'll have seen that already. So really, really pleased that I've knocked that out. The body lotion will definitely be knocked out you know, within the next couple of updates and I'm still hopeful that I'll finish this by the end of the year. So pleased with the progress overall. update my aim for this concealer was was to have hit pan on the side where you could see it really really dipping down which I'm very pleased to say I think you can kind of see it there but you'll see it better in the cutaways obviously um, that I have achieved so I'm really really pleased with that it's still like full up at the other side so I know I'm nowhere near 
like being finished with it but yeah we're um we're, we're hitting we've hit pan it we've hit pan in the middle pan at the side and now you know for the next update i'm just going to continue to scrape away at those sides so that we get to a point where it's just this half that's left um it's at that point where it's really quite difficult to use if you've got nails like i do and um, you know you can't kind of get in and thinking about it properly so i do need to use a brush with this now which means if it wasn't in the project it would not be getting used because it's a bit more faff using a brush and i'm just not here for faff generally but it is in the project so i'm making the effort to use it and i'm really really pleased that i am because it does mean this will definitely be finished within the project <laughs> confident will be finished within the project is my Davines liquid spell. You can see where we are with that so yeah if this is where we started this is where we are. We're about the halfway point now so slightly over halfway actually but I definitely relaxed for a little bit um, in the middle there. So this was uh, December last year, this is the start of July and so we've got, I've got July to use so July, August, September, October, November, December so I've got like six sort of full months and then I'll probably do like a proper finale at the end of December and um, so yeah I feel like six six months should be able to finish this not too worried um yeah happy with that and again this is one that if I wasn't doing a project pan like this would still be in my collection at the end of the year so really really glad that I put it in <laughs> Then the last two products are my cheek products. So first of all, I have my highlight. I did just say with this, I wanted to just make progress. I wasn't bothered about hitting pan or anything. Um, so I've just, I've been continuing to use it and the embossing that was on the top when I first got it has completely disappeared more or less. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I know again, if I hadn't put this in the project, this would basically still look practically new and untouched at the moment in comparison to how it was when I got it. So yeah, I'm really, really, really really pleased with the way that's going still really enjoying using it i've got it on today i think it gives a really beautiful sort of sheeny like fairly natural looking highlight and um, yeah i'm really i really really enjoy it happy to keep using it not growing bored i think that's my main thing is that i usually get so bored so quickly that that's where my project planning tends to fall apart but really really enjoying that highlight so glad that i put it in and not bored yet touch wood that it stays that way. <laughs> the last item, I don't know if, I have, again, I've been using this really consistently, but I don't know if you can see all that much difference in it. It is the pink blush from my Hourglass palette. I know obviously as you can see I've used these other three, none of these were blushes so they weren't being used quite in the same way um, but I know like from plan panning these that it takes ages to sort of see a difference in these powders and then once you see it it starts going really quite quickly um, so I'm kind of hoping that's what's happening here. It's been, this blush has obviously been repressed so I don't know if that's kind of put it back to almost like where it would be at the start in terms of not seeing a difference and then it will maybe once I start seeing a difference it will move fairly quickly hopefully um again I've got it on today I've been using it really consistently and not too bored of it yet either so again feeling good about it happy to keep using it and um, still hopeful that I'll finish it by the end of the project six months to go fingers crossed I think we can do it <laughs> So that is everything for this update thank you very much for watching it and as i said starting a new project pan about to film the intro that's a sneak peek of what's in it there and um, so that should be my next video that's up for you next sunday is the intro to my 13 before halloween so if you like project pan content and you're not subscribed already 
please do hit the subscribe button. I'm also planning a 12 Pans of Christmas for this year again. Um, I really liked doing that last year and having it up in my Vlogmas. I'll link up my 12 Pans of Christmas playlist for you um, if you missed that. I know like Vlogmas can be a bit overwhelming because if so many people are doing it and you're subscribed to loads of people you don't necessarily always see everybody's videos because who's got the time um, but yes it's it was a really fun nice little project to do so fairly sure I'm going to do that again this year as I say if you like project pan stuff do hit subscribe and I will see you next week for a new project pan video bye